Hey, this is Dr. Emily Sherning with AR, and we've got your 2050 climate forecast for the Northern Plains. Now, I'm so happy when I get to give a positive forecast, when I get to give some good news, and that's the news I've got for the Northern Plains. Don't get me wrong, there's challenges ahead, but in the midst of these challenges, this region, more than any other in America, has the opportunity to increase productivity for agriculture and livestock. You know, we're looking at a 2050 forecast with some degree of productivity loss in every other region. So the potential for gains in production in the Northern Plains, if you're, in, if you're looking at land, if you're interested in land investments, ought to ring out like a bell. Let's talk about changes forecast for this region. And like usual, this is a big region we're talking about. The changes the government is predicting, they look pretty different from Montana to Nebraska, but across the region, trends are looking at about 25 to 40% less precipitation falling as snow. And as you can imagine, that has a lot of implications for recreation, for tourism, and most importantly, for water management. Water management is the biggest forecast challenge facing this region. The good news is that it's a manageable challenge. Seriously, there could be enough water to go around. There's not likely to be a decrease in the total water volume that's going to fall on the region. There's significant projected decreases, though, in the amount of precipitation falling as snow. We could be looking at two feet less snowpack on average on the western edge of the region by 2050. That's going to have a big impact on your rivers and streams, especially, again, towards the western side of the region. And for your areas that rely on the snowpack for regular water through the year, you're looking at a complex problem. It's a, it's a real problem. Now, again, I want to be clear, this isn't a drought forecast. By 2050, there's going to be more precipitation falling as rain instead of snow during the winter. But there's not a total loss in water volume. That forecast is a lot better than what we see projected for some other regions of the U.S. But with the water falling different, there's going to be an impact on how water flows in the region. And there's going to be an impact on the landscape. Summer precipitation in this region, that's not likely to change all that much by 2050. There's going to be about the same amount of rain, but it's going to kind of be more intense. There's going to be bigger storms, probably farther apart, with more uh, little drought in the middle. And there's going to be more of those big heat waves. Like If you're in this region, you already dealt with that this summer, 2021. Between the changes to the rain and the changes to the snow, individuals and communities in the northern plains are going to need to think very seriously about how they manage water now and how they're going to change their strategies to stay competitive. If you want more detailed projections for your area, you know who to email. I'm going to help you out. The Northern Plains, they're so crucial for American security today. The producers in this region, they contribute immensely to American food security. And they don't get the appreciation that they deserve. I think that role is going to become so much more important as the century goes on. And that the producers of the Northern Plains are going to get the respect they've always deserved on the national stage. We all, all Americans, ought to consider the seriousness of the projected agricultural declines in the Southwest and the Southeast when we think about the future and American security. The Northern Plains, they're the hope in the forecast that could help to offset those losses. And the hope is a real hope, but it's not what you might call like an easy hope. In the Northern Plains, there are going to be more of those extreme weather events that can decrease your production quality. More droughts, more unseasonable or extreme weather events, but there's also going to be more good years. There really are. The winters are going to be two to four weeks shorter by 2050, and there's a decent chance, if we work together, that the weather can start stabilizing around that point. Things could stabilize with a month less winter than we have now, and with a fairly stable, longer growing season. With that milder winter and the longer growing season, a person could be looking at some real opportunities. So let's take a second to wrap this up. If I were looking to purchase land for agriculture based purely on region, I would look in the Northern Great Plains. And if I were in a community in the Northern Plains looking to strengthen what I love about my community, I would be very optimistic about the future. If I would feel confident that my community would be able to stay and thrive in place by America 2100. If this region is where you are based, I think the odds are good that you and your community are already smart and tough. So I think that you can get ready for the changes that are coming. Start thinking about how to take advantage of the changes in the growing season. Start thinking about how to compensate for the changes in the weather patterns. Get in touch with me. Get some specific numbers on what to expect for your area. And if you want, I can help you get some ideas to prepare 
and hook you up with some great orgs that are already in your region. This is Dr. Scherning with AR signing out. Please like and subscribe. Help get the message out there. There is hope. We can prepare for what's coming. Let's get ready.